I'm chef Naisha Arrington. Today, I'm in LA to find inspiration from some amazing local initiatives in my city. Then I'm heading back into the kitchen to reimagine two of LA's most iconic dishes, plant-based style. Los Angeles is truly a melting pot of cultures. You basically have every type of cuisine at your fingertips. So I'm excited to blend two LA staples, Mexican and Korean, to create a fusion recipe that's super easy to make at home. And of course, I'm going to give it a plant-based twist. Before I get into the kitchen, though, I'm in search of inspiration. So I'm heading to check out a sustainable food project in the heart of downtown LA. The LA Mission is a local nonprofit that has been helping the unsheltered community for over 85 years. I'm so excited to check it out. Georgia! Hi! Hello! Welcome! Great to see you! So good to see you! Here at LA Mission. We feed our friends and neighbors here who come to have meals, but there's a much bigger message yes. to the world about farms being something that can regrow and regenerate, and so can the people here. But I'd been volunteering and seeing the produce that was going through the kitchen that yes. was donated, and I was like, this is not going to help their brains and no. their heart as they're trying to turn their lives around. Yes. So I started thinking of farming options. Had a couple of towers to start, and now it's grown into this, which is like 43 gardens. And, and their entire own. production. We do. Oh, it's a complete mission in yes. itself. It's yes. a mission of the mission. Um, looked after by a lot of the men that are living here at the yes. mission, and Richard is my number one farmer oh, right now. Yeah, Richard. So people don't know that this is happening down on Skid Row, so it's great that you're here. You're speaking my language. I mean, what a sustainable approach to farming, right? Yeah. You're feeding and nurturing. People are learning a skill, and it's so rewarding. We've got so many rooftops and so many opportunities, so I kind of am like, everybody needs to do that. So inspirational. We have to show you some produce and I have to have you meet Wendy oh, I'd love from to. LA Urban Farms awesome. so she can explain all the technology. Awesome. Come with me. Wendy is the mastermind behind this cutting edge garden and I can't wait to pick her brain about this method for growing produce. We started our business eight years ago. Congrats. Congrats. Thank you. It was actually um, inspired by my daughter. She shared with me about the importance of vertical farming and I'd never actually heard the term before. And that's how the whole thing started. Yeah. Tell me about the technology and yes. how it grows so fast. Absolutely. First of all, aeroponics is a process of growing plants in okay. an air or mist environment yes. without the use of any soil. So it showers all the roots, the plants like this one, with nutrient-rich water. It just wow. recirculates over and over again until the plants absorb it or evaporate. Look exactly. at all these roots. Isn't that amazing? Yes. You can grow up to 44 plants plants wow. and just 30 inches. So it's actually 10 times more than if you were growing, like if you were to lay this horizontally. And so the key thing about the garden yes. is that they use 90, I know you can totally, yeah, there's no, we never, so use, we never use any harmful chemicals or anything. You can totally eat it. It uses 90% less water hmm. because the water is just recirculating the system. We use all organic seeds yes. and we plant them into this growing cube and we put out the sunshine every day for about two weeks and we water it until the roots start to show through like that. And then when they do, this little baby guy is ready to go in here and will look like oh this gosh. in just 21 to 28 days. Oh, I love it. I had to pause Wendy here because I just had to know what else can be grown in these vertical gardens. So what type of plants can we grow in a vertical garden? Oh my gosh, you could do broccoli, cauliflower, spinach beans, peppers. Yum. It's endless what you can grow. But I heard you want some cilantro. That you're I'm looking here for, for some cilantro okay. today. The cilantro is delicious on these vertical Ooh, gardens. yum. I'll make a switch with you. Crazies. Okay, so what are you going to make? I'm Tell making me. a plant-based taco no with the most amazing tortillas oh and, of God. course, the most amazing cilantro. Incredible. Yeah. I'm so excited. Went to Central Los Angeles cuisine. Oh, totally. So thank you for spending time with me. I loved it. It was so wonderful to meet you. Yes. I can't yes. wait to try your tacos one day. Now that I have my fresh cilantro, I'm heading to a family-owned tortilleria where I'm going to learn a little bit more about their process and pick up some fresh tortillas for my recipe. Like a lot of LA's hidden gems, it's a little tucked away, but worth the trek. As a chef, I learned quickly there's nothing more important than fresh ingredients. As I walked in, I was blown away by the smell of the fresh tortillas. I was definitely in the right place. How are you? Doing well, nice oh, to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Likewise, likewise. Thank you for having me. My name's Rick. Pleasure. Welcome to our home. Thank you. I'm the co-founder of Kernel of Truth Organics. Kernel of we, Truth. Where we make organic corn tortillas. Lovely, I'm yeah. here for the journey. I heard you're gonna be making some vegan tacos? I am, yes, some plant-based tacos, and I'm in search of the best tortilla. When we started, we took a deep look into the tortilla. It was just too commercialized, too cookie cut. It's really the profile, the quality of the tortilla that is our calling card. I think someone even asked me once, do you have a business card? I said, yeah, here's a tortilla. <laughs> That's my business card. You don't oh, I love it. So talk to me about the tortilla making process. A true tortilla only really needs three simple ingredients and that's corn, water, and lime. 
we are a labor of love here, and I cannot wait to show you how we do it. So oh. if you want to come right in. Do I get to see the process? We're making tortillas right yes. now. Please, come right in. Excellent. After the first day of cooking the corn and nixtamalizing it, yes. what we do is we, we rinse off the corn, okay. and then we throw it in our molino. Okay. Our molino is our volcanic stone rock mill. What we're doing is turning the, the corn yes. into a masa dough. Once we get the masa, we throw it in our mixer to introduce oxygen, and then we throw it in our oven. It'll come out of the conveyor belt into the cooling line, and the counters, who are very skilled, are counting, stacking, and tightening them up. It starts from love first. Absolutely. I think it's love, ingredients, and then passion. And totally. Else. So I have these tortillas that I specially made for you. Thank Please you, enjoy. Mr. Rec. No, thank you. Thank you to the team. Muchas gracias. Igualmente. I've got some amazing local ingredients to help bring this dish to life. And now it's time to head into the kitchen to get started on my plant-based tacos. Let's get into making these delicious, like meat Korean fried chicken tacos. These Korean fried chicken tacos start with gochujang paste. Super delicious. We'll give lots of texture, flavor, viscosity, and a little bit of spice. I also add a touch of plant-based mayo. It's gonna stir to combine these. And for a touch of sweetness, I like to add a little bit of brown sugar. And I love to add acid when I make sauces. It really takes your palate on a journey. So I add apple cider vinegar. Korean chili flake is one of my favorite spices. It has a way of adding chili without being super overwhelmingly spicy. Of course, a pinch of salt, a little bit of soy, and sesame oil. So I just mix to combine, and it comes together quite beautifully. I love the way, what do I love? I love the way the sauce really hugs the like me and the texture really balances each other out very well. We want a sauce that's not super thick and not super thin. We really just want to coat the chicken pieces. Oh my gosh, so aromatic. Give this a little taste to roux. See, this is the perfect consistency. Yum. That's really delicious. If you want a fast alternative, you can totally buy gochujang sauce at the store. Moving on to the avocado crema. This is going to add beautiful cooling sensation along with that spicy gochujang. I love to chop down my garlic by simply smashing and just chop this down. You wanna pick an avocado that's not too soft and not too overripe. We're gonna use two for this recipe. Add my chopped garlic a healthy pinch of salt. And whenever we're cooking, we always want to layer our flavors. I like to add acid, gonna add lots of depth of flavor and brightness. And now for the fun part, we are going to blitz this avocado crema together. Great. I am not trying to achieve like the smoothest crema in the world. I think it's really nice to see this beautiful rustic texture and it offers a bit of excitement as we're enjoying this taco. And I like to be sustainable in my practices. If I'm using lime juice, I definitely wanna use the outer skin of the lime as well because there's tons of flavor and essential oils in the skin. And to finish this delicious crema, I'm going to chop some of our amazing cilantro that we got from LA Urban Farms, full of life and vitality. We just picked this hours ago. Use the stems, it adds amazing texture. And if you don't have time to make an avocado crema, you feel free to buy a plant-based sour cream. And now for the Korean fried chicken portion of these tacos. Korean fried chicken is not normally plant-based, but today I'm gonna to show you how to create that using the like meat chicken pieces and this delicious crispy crunchy batter. So I start with cornstarch, a little bit of a brown rice flour, baking powder, and salt. And just make sure they're fully incorporated before adding in our soda water. And what the soda water does is add bubbles to get that really crispy texture. And you don't wanna overmix here. You really just wanna allow this to kind of come together very lightly. And now for the batter portion of this delicious fried chicken taco. Get ready for your delicious destiny. So what I'm going to do is toss my like meat chicken pieces into our batter and fry this at a 350 degree temperature. So I basically add this in small batches, ensuring to not overcrowd my fryer. Fry a little bit of that additional batter to give amazing crunch. What I'm looking for is a golden brown coloration on the outside. That's how you know that your batter is gonna be really crispy. While this is frying, I'm going to char up our tortillas. I love to get a really nice 
coloration on the tortillas because it adds tons of depth of flavor. And I do this simply by toasting them right on an open flame on my stovetop. There's nothing like a fresh made tortilla. I love the idea of plant-based cooking because it's not that it has to be, you know, specific to vegan or vegetarian. Food can just be delicious food without eating animal protein. I think that's really important when we're talking about sustainability, when we're talking about global warming. Reducing the amount of animal protein intake drastically brings down our carbon footprint. Awesome, this Like Me is looking crispy, golden brown, and delicious. I like to toss this in very gently, and since we have such a beautiful, crispy, crunchy texture, you wanna use plenty of sauce, right? We want to have this beautiful, delicate balance between crunch and craveable crispy texture, and this unctuous, velvety, spicy, uh, very lively sauce that sort of hugs the crevices of our crunchy batter. Now we have this fully coated. It's time to bring this all together. I like to place my avocado crema down first so that the like meat has something to stick to. I also love to add a little bit of sesame seeds for crunch and flavor, texture. I place these over top. The aromatics coming off this are absolutely amazing. Let's add a little bit of scallion. And that's gonna give us some amazing onion flavor. Next goes the cabbage and our beautiful cilantro. This cilantro is so floral and fragrant. I cannot wait to bite into this. I love how the Korean flavors meet Latin. It's just such an LA vibe. And for me, the perfect bite is a squeeze of lime over top. And that's our beautiful dish. These are our beautiful like meat chicken tacos. So excited to try these tacos. I know they're gonna be amazing. They smell phenomenal. Mm. <laughs> I absolutely adore the way the crema plays against the texture of like meat and just, just packs the most amount of impeccable flavor in this and really, really simple to make. For the full recipe and more amazing plant-based dishes, be sure to check out The Collective Kitchen.